Hi, and welcome to Salsa Goals, where we break down salsa dancing concepts so that you can build up a strong foundation on the dance floor. Have you ever wondered how to make salsa dancing flow like an amazing conversation? Well, in part three of this video series, we'll find out. Salsa dancing can be like a nonverbal conversation with your partner, but what really holds a conversation together like glue? Well, just as a dish can have a certain ingredient that makes it special, so can a conversation. And what is arguably the most important ingredient for any amazing conversation? Well, imagine that someone asks you a question about sports, but you respond by saying something about computers. Would it matter if your words were well pronounced or if your sentences were well constructed? Of course not. If your words don't have anything to do with the topic of conversation, then they probably won't make much sense to other people. So both speakers need to stick to the same topic in order to have a great conversation. And when it comes to salsa dancing, your moves and turn patterns are like words and sentences. And while good dance technique and variety of moves are very important, the music provides the topic of conversation. So instead of being like a simple metronome that keeps the rhythm you are dancing to, the music can play a major role in the way you interact with your partner. This means that an amazing salsa dance really has three participants. You, your partner, and the music. Yes, the music can be like a third partner out there on the dance floor with you. And like the conductor of an orchestra, the music can dictate the flow of your dancing and guide your moves. But although the music is extremely important, it is actually the second most important requirement for an amazing conversation on the dance floor. So what is the first most important requirement? Stay tuned for part four in this series. Also, please click like and comment below if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, keep dancing.